Hello everybody, I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. So yeah, I believe we were off to the park. I believe we heard an incident occurred there but did not see it yet. Aside from that, I don't know if we had any other plot questions. I think we mostly know, or at least I guess, what I think is happening in the plot. I don't think anything has really changed so far. Um, other than to say that I guess we learned details that probably the person going around in the body that we think we inhabit has been dead for a while, that was our guess. So maybe the deal with the evil villains has to do with him getting a body or something like that, because I don't see what else he would want. Like one that doesn't decompose or something. So maybe he becomes a robot or maybe there's some other gimmick. But I'm not really sure what the villains get out of it per se. Other than like, it seems like they're using him currently, but I don't know what their end goal is after they give him a body. Or it, or, may, or maybe they're not going to give him a body. Maybe that's what they're promising and something will happen instead. I can't figure out their end game yet. Because right now they're, they're going to lose their ability to basically off people potentially. So I imagine there's going to be some betrayal, probably, but over what, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and pause the soundtrack. Sure, let's continue from chapter 12. 12.25 AM. Looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Joe's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery young detective lady. I told Lynn what I'd found out about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's house. That they sensed my presence and were already gone. Camilla? Why did they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. I think this stupid old part is a little uncalled for. Looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl. Kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists too. Like the kidnappers winding up in winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be a coincidence. And them sensing my presence. You seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about the distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah! How can I believe in you? I'm a realist! A little bit of a recap from last time. If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times, my wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Why does life have to be such a complicated thing? If she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it! I'm being watched. Can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make if that's not my daughter? Gasp. Ooh wee, that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. I was gonna say, I'm expecting the detective theme any second now. Miss me, baby. Almost on cue. Inspector Cabanella. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're, hope you're feeling a little better. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended, but you might like to see him, so here he is. Oh. 
Detective Jode? Detective Jode, I'm so sorry. I, I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please, don't apologize to me. Ah, oh, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. Dot, 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 dot. Trick time. Lynn doesn't really know that Jode is innocent. She just flees it from the bottom of her heart. Execution and the kidnapping are real threats, and time marches on. I gather information and see if I can think of something. It all relates back to me somehow. I just know it. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? That the execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Joe could never have done such a thing. <laughs> oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true and two things only. One, he was given a death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons? Dot, 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 dot. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Dot, 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 dot. Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on. Including me. You understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lin. But Detective Jode! I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... Dot dot dot. Hmm, so we can't view anything else here. I think they mentioned the park last time. I'm pretty sure they did. Not sure if we could talk to any of these people. Yeah, let's try talking to them. My poor Emily, is she all right? Yeah, I think they mentioned the kidnapping was in the park or something. That, that was definitely last time. I don't know if these characters know anything about the park. But if you recall, something happened to her in the park at some point because she ended up with the uh, ghost mark. So presumably Missile helped her. So maybe if we meet up with Missile, we'll see something. So presumably also chat Missile's out of the door, based off of what was said earlier. My poor Emily, is she alright? Actually, the girl was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. Not, not me. My wife. It's, uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife ran away on him? <laughs> I miss Missile. We'll, we'll be seeing him soon, for sure. Maybe they grew apart. With what? With him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head. Oh, we can actually talk to him. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. Here's something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution. Tonight. Ha ha ha! I had no idea I was so hated. The Minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. 
Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Kamala. What? Kamala. Checked it out myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be. By the way, Kamala told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Kamala herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Emla won't have to suffer any more after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. Why would you want to be married to this wall crusher? L listen, everybody needs a doge in their life. Sometimes walls just need to go down. Dot 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 exclamation mark. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is your own. Dot 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 exclamation mark. Bam. Is it true? What Kamala said? Dot 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 dot. Why don't you tell us what you know? Ooh, we're getting a lot of extra dialogue. I don't know if I actually have to see any of this. Because we, we know from the kidnappers that we should probably check out the park. So I guess we're just getting additional plot. The murder five years ago. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's Alma's birthday. We came home from work and she went in first. Dang. Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There's nobody there besides Alma and Kamala. Just the two of them. The little lady's mother died right in front of her. My, that's so horrible. Kamala told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. Made it impossible move. Dun dun dun. Sounds like she got counter ghost trick chat. I guess we'll call them ghost pranks. <laughs> Different from ours. An impossible move? Let's ask about the powers of the dead. It's been five years since then. I've stopped thinking about it. Shot Alma. There's no other explanation. It's what I convince everyone of. Even me. <laughs> or call them ghost accidents. That also works. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day, in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. If that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple other people who know about these powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who adopted Kamala knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. Looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jode! There's still time before dawn. A little, anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Are we still really believing that ghosts no longer exist after dawn? Aren't we presented with, like, immediate evidence that this happened, like, five years ago? Right, chat? I would have hoped our protagonist would have picked up on that. Like, it's not like it just happened earlier in the day or something. She died, like, what, five years ago, according to the plot, I think? Dot, 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 indeed. Yeah, murder five years ago. Actually, before I complete his dialogue... Does she have anything to say? According to what I heard, Emily was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they're, li they're lying in wait for her. Emily didn't go out after all, she couldn't. She had a fever. Oh, 
so the kidnappers grabbed Kemala by mistake instead? Apparently. Emily and Kemala were about the same age. Kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. Even though they don't look similar to each other. It's my fault. I had asked Kemala to do that errand for me. This never would have happened. Oh, right. You asked her to bring the music box. Kemala. Ah. Uh. An impossible move. Emily was a quiet little girl. She's good with her hands. She's a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. <laughs> She's also terrible at hanging up her headphones in safe locations. It says all you non-blue people look alike to me, the kidnapper is, yeah, pretty much. There were two very strange points about that contraption. First was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right. That was an antique gun I'd had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. The other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Yep, we reversed the direction of the Cupid to save her previously. Instead of firing to the left, it fired to the right. It was to shoot its arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. Oh no, they ghost pranked. I, I would not be surprised if they call the other ghost the manipulator or something like that. They keep saying the word manipulate. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew is I had to protect Kemala. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. Adjustment to the scene. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. Got it. Come to think of it. Yeah, I've been smashed. There's no gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But well, one thing was for certain. The gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. Hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. Gee, it could be any detective chat. What? You mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. What? That's what the music box was? I actually wasn't thinking about why the music box was important. I was thinking something in the evidence was in there, but we really didn't notice it was a gun? <laughs> you know, it's like, jeez. Okay. I- okay. I'm not, like, super, super surprised. I mean, it was obvious it was important to the case. And I was just thinking the frame had been shattered and the gun was collected for evidence. I wasn't thinking he still had the gun. So I guess that's not something I totally predicted. But yeah, that's pretty dumb that you think it's a music box. Yeah, the best V6 got gunfire, exactly. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. I did it other few things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. Detective Jode, is what you just told us now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time. Time to solve that case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jode. Of course, Lord Kamala didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Kamala's sake. Dot, dot, dot. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jode. Lynn, where's that music box now? In Temsic Park. Kamala left it there. That gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. 
Oh yeah, chat, listen to that music. It's kicking up now. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Sissel, take care of Detective Joe. Oh no, is she gonna die? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> no, don't let her go alone. It always ends terribly. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. Yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. Little change in plans. My daughter's been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you. With a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla. In more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see my old friend in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? He's doing well. The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please, don't bow to me. And especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. There you go, chat. Bring your own chair. That way you can pose coolly. The van should be taking about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. You show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate. Dot, 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 dot. Good. Another excuse to keep listening to the music. Glad to see Detective Joe at all fired up now. But I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lynn does come up through with the proof of Joe's innocence, it would be meaningless if Joe or Kamala dies. Pull the chair on him. <laughs> yeah, action. Action, cause accident. Gotta do something about that kidnapping somehow. Maybe you should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Okay. Let me save real quick. Yeah, she's gone to Temsic Park. Just briefly opening these. We're not getting, like, new, new info, per se. Yeah, she's kidnapped because she's mistaken for the Justice Minister's daughter. He's a mistaken identity. Camilla is kidnapped in place. His wife won't answer the phone. And because he doesn't know the safety, he can't call it off. Oh boy, Chad, we got a possible ban evader in my, uh, warnings. Best viewers on Lujika Juka 3 0 Top Z. Sorry, Paradoxal Jabber. We're gonna ban you manually. I know. Ch oh, oh, I almost could have clicked the link. What a shame. Murder machine in the building's basement is almost identical to the contraption that killed Joe's wife. Okay, so we at least acknowledge that. In grave situations, he performs the panic dance. There we go. We're getting the important lore now. Seems to have stolen somebody else's life as well. Inspector Cabanella hauled him into the minister off office. Oh, that's right. We don't... Our character doesn't think anything about the park incident from before. 
He's the perpetrator of the Camilla. Yeah, nothing has really changed here. I imagine they say the same thing other than talking about the Sixth Sense. Beloved Mother, ooh. Look at that, we got a new profile just for them. Camilla's mother and Joan's wife, five years ago, she was shot and killed when the contraption Camilla made for her birthday made an impossible move. Detective Joan was arrested for her murder. Oh, I think I understand how the game is going to end. I'll hold off a little later. I am pretty sure we're, we are, I will, I will put it to the point where I'm pretty sure we can undo all of these events. If this is working the way that I think it's working. We'll see though. I'll talk to him one last time. Okay, he's just la 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 -ing us. Alright, so he says, let me speak plainly. I don't trust you. There's someone else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah, who's that? Me! I can explain your existence. It's not normal, but I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination, a delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. Not the bit about you not trusting me, though. Good. Alright, before we continue with that, I did a save to hopefully not advance the plot. I want to check this out before we go too much further. Let's go to the junkyard. I want to go to everywhere but the park right now. Well, we still have a chance, and then we'll move forward. Uh-oh, dot dot dot. Hey, why so quiet? Dot dot dot. Ray? Dot dot dot. What's going on? Maybe he isn't here anymore? Hmm. Alright, chat. Dun dun dun. Come on, let's get. Oh, is she back in bed? Just as I thought. This little girl is safe in her bed. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long line of sad fate lit a fire in Joad's heart. The chance to turn it around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Anything that happened so far tonight was related back to me in some way. I bet this mistake-ridden abduction does too. Oh. I think I accidentally... Oh, did I accidentally plot? Hold on, let's reset real quick. I don't feel like redoing the whole chapter. Give me one second. How do you reset this? Uh, real quick. <laughs> I thought we had to go to the park because they kept mentioning the park. Oops. We had to go back there. Good thing I saved right before we did that. So that means there's even more dialogue here that I don't need to worry about now then. So what is his final line of dialogue if that doesn't advance the plot? Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? Not his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. Leo says DS version, indeed. We call from here, right. But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, Detective. These past five years, Kemla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. He to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But is there a way? Okay. So we missed that little bit of dialogue. So let's see what happens if we go to the park now instead. 
So we saw what happens if we go to the ladies in red. It just advances the plot. What happens if we go to the park? No new dialogue here. Still can't read the leaflet. Have I been checking the junkyard? Indeed we have. Ray is no longer moving. Ooh, there is a scene here. Looks like the old pigeon guy decided to go somewhere else. Something very off about this place. Old dusty junk side by side with well-maintained equipment. Anyway, doesn't look like things are going to change here much for a while. <laughs> I'm still going to check it every chapter, regardless of what they say. Go to the guard room. See if we get any updates here. Oh, the panic dance is over. The chief is on his way over here. What's he want to come now for? Well, because the death row inmate escaped, of course. Oh, need to be in your shoes right now, Bailey. You're in charge, after all. Ah! Me? Why did I ever have to become a prison guard? I never would have taken a job like this if I knew the prisoners might escape. Wow. Unbelievable. Yes, I know, right? It is unbelievable. Well, the chief is apparently coming down here. Let's check in on the prisoners. Let's see if the curry guy is any closer to escaping. Time is back to being like a caged animal here. <clears throat> Nothing much seems to have changed since I last visited. Spikey is making that horrible noise, same as ever. Our condemned convict, Detective Jode, is still out. Well, yeah, we know where he is, game. Oh, he's still stuck, that's right. The curry lover is stuck. Uh, is it? Literally nothing has changed since last chapter. We'll move forward then. Yeah, yeah, we know what time will be locked away, blah, blah, blah. Even though we know that's not true, according to the game's own logic. Uh, let's go... I don't think Mortuary's ever had any updates. I'll check real quick, though. Ah, uh, so these two don't have a scene. Is there anywhere else really worth visiting before we end the chapter? And I guess I could double check the basement. Doesn't hurt, I suppose. We know the chief is not going to be in his office, but we could still go there, I guess. In somebody's presence in this dimly lit place. Oh. Oh, we are getting an extra scene with this character, finally. Tonight is probably our last chance. He doesn't come here tonight. Hmm. I think this silence is starting to get to me. The old man is apparently waiting for somebody. The only thing waiting for me is the end of my existence. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't understand who the old man originally was. I think I understand the rest of the plot except for what he's doing. So, I mean, presumably he's... I mean, at some point, the villain is probably going to destroy this place. That's for sure. But I don't know what he thinks this will accomplish exactly. So we know he's looking into the meteor. The meteor definitely killed the person... 10 years ago? I'm trying to keep the timeline straight. Even though Joe thought he shot and killed a person, it's kind of obvious he didn't shoot him, even in that cutscene. So presumably the body of the red suit person is maybe preserved? I mean, maybe that's one of those things that's going to be those gotchas to the end of the game. I was alluding to that earlier, but I guess I'll mention it now. So if the body hasn't decomposed in 10 years, we have a limitation we can't go back unless somebody's died within the past day. I wonder if we're going to get around that limitation. It'll be like, oh, technically it's the same as when he died, blah, blah, blah. So... 
I still don't know what he's doing specifically. Like, he has knowledge of the meteor. So I don't know if he's a, related to somebody. And I, I just, I don't know what his relationship is still. Do you know what I mean, Chad? Like, he has a lot of information. And it's very strange he knows about the, the murder contraption. Slash the birthday thing. And he knows about the meteors. I don't know. Continue forward. I doubt I can do anything here, but we'll check anyway. I feel like this place was pretty underused. Like, I know we got it later in the unlocks, but man, there is like nothing to do there. It's kind of a shame. So he shouldn't be at the office due to what we learned earlier. So his wife will no longer call him. I guess the chief went out. <laughs> the chief who also calls himself the chief on the radio. Doesn't even put on his shoes. Oh, that's... Hmm. Did something happen? He didn't wear his shoes while walking around? Uh... Is he at least in sandals or something? I really hope he's not walking barefoot around. That's kind of a... Kind of a thought, I guess. Oh. Chef's missing. Hmm. It's like the restaurant. It's not like the restaurant is closed. Where's the chef? It's just not the same without his singing. I guess I could come back later if I want to hear him sing. Hmm. Well, the chief was on his way back to the prison. I don't know why the chef is missing. We were guessing that maybe the curry guy was also a chef because his head was in the same shape as the chef's hat in the chicken kitchen. I don't know if he worked here or if he'll turn out to be related to the chef. I don't think that has been confirmed. He looks so wildly different from the other characters. I'm not willing to claim that I think he's a relative. <laughs> I mean, he's got like, like, no other character looks like the curry man. It's just kind of confusing to me. But we'll go to the Moonlit Courtyard, I guess. Maybe the Chief is here, if he's coming to the prison. Oh, no one's here yet. We'll stare at the moon, though, just because. There we go. <laughs> yeah, what happens if we go back to Kemble's old house? The scene of tragedy is once again sealed in silence. The tragedy five years ago, and the tragedy tonight. Look where the little lady is now. If only I could put a smile back on her face before the day dawns. But I won't find the answers here. Better follow my own leads. Alright, let's actually advance the plot. Let's go to the Red Lady's apartment. We'll skip through the dialogue since we read it earlier. We, we accidentally plotted. <laughs> I thought we had to go to the park first to go retrieve the item, but whatever. Order of operations, I guess. So I guess we're gonna somehow get the phone over to her will be the next chapter. This time we'll save. So we'll, we've now officially cleared chapter 12. Making some good progress. Yes, I would like to save. Let's continue playing. Chapter 13, 1251 AM. I visited the novelist's apartment again, hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, not the Justice Minister will call off the execution tonight. Key to dispelling the Minister's doubts is now in bed, coughing. I need to use this key before that prison van arrives to pick our, pick up our death row inmate. Crusher moves. 
My darling angel. Oh, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing. Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? A daughter after my own heart. Yeah, we do. We did know she left for at least, I think, an hour and a half or two hours. But I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. Well, we did. <laughs> I didn't go out to play. Went to buy Papa a birthday present. Said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. Mother of the year, exactly. I was gonna say, she gave up on the, the marriage with the justice uh, official to marry her wine glass. <laughs> right, chat? Till death do they part. My fever finally went down. I barely moved before that. Poor coughs. Look what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. Here's to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Any excuse to drink, I guess. Mama? Yes, darling. Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Dot, 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 dot. Not tonight, Emily. She has super bad posture. I hate you! She's a long-term committed relationship with her wine, exactly. Looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. I wonder if that line was added because I specifically checked in on her multiple times. There's another lucky development, too. Emily wants to call her father. If we could just make use of that feeling somehow, we would surely bring the Justice Minister around. <laughs> I was gonna say, burn the world. Wait, do I seriously have to burn it? I don't think I could reach that, right? Yeah, I can't. Well, time to light it up. Oh, that's... It's held up by something that was burnable? Boom. Not, not in my wildest imagination did I think that was string, but whatever. Emily, I told you you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Emily. Your father is about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the Justice Minister, you know. All you do is write weird novels. Ooh. Don't you slander her... Um, romance novels. Dot, 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 dot. She's gonna wall crush you. Look out. There we go. Oh, she's having the Phoenix Wright breakdown. What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? There we go. She's got the crazy eyes and crazy hair. She's gone Super Saiyan, chat. Now you've really made me angry. You really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? And then back to the hunched over walk, of course. I hate you! There. I'll be keeping my eye on you now. Do you want to do anything mischievous? Like calling your father. I hate you. I can hear you, you know. Wow, mother of the year. Ew, what a pair. I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this so Lady Emily can call. Oh no, can I knock over her wine bottle? That would get her to get a... Oh, dialogue. Mama, what is Papa about to do? Dot, 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 dot. Never mind. Nothing you need to know right now, Emily. 
Why is everything always such a big secret? I'm part of this family too, you know. It's not something for children's ears. You'll understand someday. I don't want to know someday. I want to know now. It's not fair. You just don't want to tell me. I just want to wish Papa a happy birthday. Not tonight. It was up to me. I let her call him. Destroying her wife, that's like killing her lover. How evil do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. But the question is, do I need to do anything? What, are, what do all these things do? Oh, I could drop a mouse down on her, maybe. I wasn't sure if I needed to relight this somehow. That's the other thing I'm not sure about right now. So I can also presumably drop... Oh, I can't reach it. Okay, I can't reach her wine bottle. Uh, so we're just noting her dictionaries up here now. I don't think there's anything we could do other than just drop the mouse on her. Oh boy, where are we swinging this mouse? Better not put up the lamp right now, only pour oil on the flames of anger in this lady's heart. I'm gonna give Emily a chance to use the phone. I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. So the mouse is here. What does this give me access to that I normally wouldn't be able to reach? Oh, maybe it makes me reach the phone? Is that what it makes me reach? No. I... Okay. Um... Like, this thing is sparking, but it doesn't seem to do anything else. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't impact our ability to reach anything over here. Yeah, I was thinking before we would knock over the wine bottle and she would obviously get up to go deal with it. Hmm. Oh. I realize I could light this still. That doesn't do anything for us currently. I can open the waste basket. Does she do anything? Like throw something? It won't let me use the knob. Hmm. What does the game want me to do? I was gonna fling the mouse at her. That was my original thought. Oh, I can make it chime. Sorry, I didn't realize there was another thing here. There we go. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't see that when I was zipping around. Well, well, having a good time, are we, little rodent? Sweet dreams. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's something else. I can see you're having a full-on Phoenix style freak out if there's something were to happen to her line, definitely. I mean, now I can move. Did we kill the mouse? That was that was like a brutality. Now we okay. Yeah, let, let's have our thoughts on this. KO. It's more powerful than I thought. Yeah, she did knock this over, which means I think we can reach the telephone now. Looks like she tipped the wall candelabra to one side, too. Hmm, the angle of those candles. I feel like I've seen something similar to that quite recently. Yeah, we lit something else on fire with this. Oh, we still can't jump to it. Interesting. Maybe now we can talk to the mouse's ghost. Damn, true. 
mean, we're obviously gonna turn it while the mouse is on it. <laughs> that, that is messed up. Oh heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. She did get up to do something. The chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. Love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills, thank you. Oh, we knocking her out with this? Okay, so I guess I have to time it so she gets hit by this. Okay, so if I can reach that, I can drop it on her next time I turn out the lights. So this is what I'm learning from what we just witnessed. Oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. I don't exactly know how this situation came about. Uh, listen, I don't think any of us can explain how we got to this exact scenario. But I think I owe the rat an apology. Yeah, you do! Rat seems to be unconscious. Somehow, not dead. Now the room has changed into this. Maybe you can use it somehow. I'm obviously gonna put it back up. I'm just curious what she says if I do this. What a naughty chandelier. Alright, so if I turn out the if I turn out her lamp. Able to proceed. Presumably this alone won't do it. Yeah, it won't do that anymore. Alright, so we still can't mess with her lamp at all. She doesn't notice that. Oh goodness, look at the time. As I bask in my tale of love, time has been moving at the speed of light. Hmm. Even though she's immersed in love, she can still hear this, huh? This won't buy enough time for her daughter to make a phone call. Must be something else I could distract her with. Okay, right, so the question is... How do I turn the power off again? Won't let me trick that. I love we could potentially just set fire to this place. Is there anything we could do to get her to get up other than hitting that thing? Hmm. I mean, I'll check one more time just to make sure I didn't miss a timing window or something like that. Because, like, clearly I have to get her to go up and then come over here. How do I get the lights to turn out? So we we spun the valve at the top, and that's what did it before. But I just did it earlier, and it didn't do anything. So I'm not sure. It's one of those ones where I like I think I know what I want it what it wants me to do, but I don't know how to start the events. Right? Like there's only like three things we can interact with. Right? We could turn this. Presumably nothing happens if I keep turning this. Can't do anything with the hoist. Can't do anything with the latch. We can make the thing chime. We can light the lighter, which doesn't do anything. We can open the waste basket, which doesn't do anything. It won't let us turn the knob off. Hmm. And I can't reach anything over here to make her stand up, potentially. 
So if I can get her to walk to the left, we can knock her out with the chandelier. Like, that much is obvious. I just don't know what I'm missing here. There's something else I could have done with this. Can I knock the other thing over? We still can't reach the phone or interact with this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like something is not happening that should be happening. Like, I would have thought doing this would do it, unless I missed a window and I have to go back in time, but I doubt that would happen. Unless it was something like I just... Hold on, let me do this one more time. Am I allowed to do this again when she's walking back? Am I just missing the prompt? Let's see if it's just that simple, if I could just do it. Because I, I was looking away the, the last time it happened. Does it let me hit it again when she's walking back? If so, then, you know, puzzle solved, I guess. Oh, damn, she's good at dodging. Such insolence, chat. Damn, she's good. Ah! Emily, Emily, help me! Yeah, that dodge was something else. I'm glad we got to see the dodge of nothing else. Sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. Afraid I can't help you right now. Got hit in the head, insolence. <laughs> Here is the weakness of my darling angel. Chandelier's on there tighter than her wedding band. Won't be able to escape on her own. I guess we're lifting her into the air. Well, up you go. What? What is going on here? Hope you're doing well, Calvisham. Emily, look, do see this? Help me, please. Uh, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. Head is spinning. It feels kind of weird to have a puzzle that straightforward after how complicated the other ones were. So I was thinking there were going to be more steps. I mean, think about how complicated it was where we're forming the ramp to move the thing in order to move another thing, in order to hit a thing, in order to launch the pill bottle over. Like, that was so much more involved than this. I was not expecting it to just be like a one-step puzzle. Oh, almost missed more dialogue again. Looks like this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. A little girl could call her father. The only trouble is she can't reach it. I guess I'll just have to deliver it to her. I mean, we're obviously lighting her hair on fire. But how is the candle going to get lit? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to light the rat on fire? Oh, that's messed up, game. <laughs> Like, wait a minute. There's only one way this could get lit on fire, Chad. There's no way that's not the answer. Saw something very similar just recently, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, we saw that. So we're gonna light her on fire. Which will presumably wake up the rat. Yes, we did the like, rat on fire. That's exactly what I was thinking was going to happen. Wow. That's messed up. Now I really owe that poor rat an apology. This might be a really good chance for me, too. I have to get that poor phone to, I have to get that phone to Emily. Okay, this puzzle is um, something else. We're going we're gonna to say that. Holy. I was wondering why we needed to swing this, and I'm like, what could we possibly swing to light this? 
I was like, oh no, there's only one thing we saw go there. Mama. What in the world is going on here? If only she just put down the wine glass. Well, we didn't commit r rat aside. <laughs> oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? Only be a minute. Don't you dare, Emily. I won't have it. Get me down. Hello, Papa? Gasp. Emily! Is that you? Of course it is, silly. What did you think? But I heard they said you were... No, n never mind. It's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to mean old Mama. Oh, your mean old mama. I mean your mother. What is she up to right now? I hope her answer is the ceiling. Well, she's certainly up all right. Except for mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Okay, I was, ho I was hoping there would be a pun. I'm glad it delivered. Get me down. She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Emily. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Did you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. But it's alright now. Oh, okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of the Justice Minister is very complicated, you see. Okay. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Imagine, chat, you're you're basically a character with a lines of dialogue and you still don't have a name. Are we ever going to get a name for the Justice Minister? Or is he just going to be Justice Minister the whole game? Dot, dot, dot. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa. Have a good night. I love you. The most important thing to know, she comes second to wine for the mommy, exactly. Love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. Always be justice man to you. Nice. Oh, she almost made it over to the fireplace? Um, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I... I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Emily. But all you did was write these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of the Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right. I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up, after all. I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. What? Oh, um... Maybe you better wait until you're a little older for that. Oh, no. T okay. So, Emily, you're feeling a little more charitable toward your old mama. Do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that. But I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. Pass out. Tonight, on this holiest of nights, my deadline... Looks like the only thing pressing on me will be this chandelier. Here's the Papa and Mama's darling angel. There we go. All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. Such an abrupt change. I can't understand it. Is this what family's all about? In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. I hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. 
don't know where Camel is. At least now the Justice Minister's doubts are dispelled. They could go back to his office where everybody's waiting for the prison van. That's what you'd like me to do. Oh wait, you're forcing me there? That's rude. Mister's family now has their smiles and harmony back. Campbell is slow in the hands of the kidnappers. I decided to go to the Justice Minister's office. Damn, Chad, not even allowed to see the other things. Permission denied. Surprisingly, the Minister's brow is still as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who's just learned his daughter is safe. Seems... He seems to still be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. Seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. Feeling something big is going to happen. I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake and for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? But one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe. And yet, you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Ugh. Of course, there's still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? We're gonna give him another heart attack. Please, let me think in peace till the prison van arrives. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Let me get a report. I guess I'll just have to wait here. Do you distrust of the ministers? Really something more to it, like the inspector in white said. To do a quick save in case I accidentally skip some dialogue. Alright, so now I could go back and use the phone again, right? So why don't I just use the phone? No, no, no don't talk to him. <laughs> right, chat, we're doing our best not to advance the plot. There we go. Imagine Ray is no longer moving still, but let's check real quick. Because imagine the chapter is almost over. Yeah, we're getting dot dot dots. Hey, why so quiet? Ray? What's going on? Maybe he isn't here anymore? Can't go to here, can't go to there, was just there. We go to the park, hopefully this does not advance the plot. So he's looking for the person that's already kidnapped, so kind of a failure there. Let's see if we witness anything interesting here. No additional cutscenes. The other guy's still below there. Don't think anything will change here. We'll just go to the guard room this time, because it's the other people have not updated multiple times in a row. Oh wow, there's nothing to- wow, there's no cutscenes even here. Interesting. Oof. Maybe we exhausted all the cutscenes in the chapter chat. The chief hasn't arrived at his other destination. Nothing's updated here. Yeah, look at that, chat. We're not even getting cutscenes anymore. Oops. We'll briefly go back to her old house, but otherwise we're going to continue with the plot, I guess, by going back to the minister's office. There used to be a lot of cutscenes. Kind of in between, but apparently not in this chapter. I know, Dango. Disappointing. No extra cutscenes, but welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well today. So I could talk to the minister. I'm gonna talk to the detective first. Seems to me the Justice Minister has some kind of big problem on his mind. Why don't you try talking to him instead of me? I even think he's ready to acknowledge my existence yet. 
He's an anxious fellow, yes. They bet he knows when to accept the truth. Would his face be so furrowed otherwise? What does one have to do with the other? Oh, I can't go further to the left. Fine, we'll talk to him. Advance the plot. Hello, Justice Minister. Dot dot dot. But you finally admit I do exist. Dot dot dot. That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. Dot 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 exclamation mark chat. You're a ghost, aren't you? You have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. Mm-hmm. Dot dot dot. We've actually known you know for quite a while now. I'm a ghost. Exactly, I'm a ghost. But I had no idea they were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Known. Known about what? All the incidents from the people in the prison. Come on, protagonist, keep up with the plot. We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. See, I, chat, I was waiting for them to be calling him the manipulator. They kept using the word manipulate. If he's called anything else, I'm going to be disappointed. What's this? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jode. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. Manipulator. There's some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Jode. Right, they don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. He's the make other doer. Yeah, we're, we're calling him the ghost prankster. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have a certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. The curry-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had motive for their crime. And both of their crimes were... Impossible. Impossible. The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. The rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The special investigation unit submitted an investigative report to me on them. They don't use the word trickster, they missed a big opportunity, exactly. Yeah, hopefully it's not something boring like the puppeteer. I'll be like, come on. It was right there, right chat? Like, we're gonna be like, Boo, if he's given any other nickname. They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. How could that be? The theory the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. Manipulator, huh? That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Like, is the old man related to the guard somehow? I'm just trying to figure out what his relationship is still. Goat's case. Some unknown power has been at work. This past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act. According to the inspector. First case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say it was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately. I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. Tia. Oops, we saw that earlier in the game. It was possible from the other person. 
powers certainly don't work on living creatures. Yeah, your powers don't. That's what I thought when I heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? The minister's mistake. You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? Dot, dot, dot. I suppose everybody here has the right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak out loud so Inspector Cabanella can hear this, too. Oh, we're no longer in thought space. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist, and I... I learned the truth at that first hand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jode's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. Well, that would have been more pertinent to tell us earlier. Idiot. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. I guess that's one way to ensure his death. What's going on? This document? What am I doing? No. I mustn't sign it! <laughs> That's that, that is certainly a way to sign it. Who's this JoJo posing character? Oh, Dango. You just wait. Wait, don't deliver that document! Yeah, this character's ridiculous. The detective is more ridiculous. The one in the white. That's when it started. I'm sure we'll get another pose from him soon. It's overdue. That's when all my fear, despair, and suffering began. Oh no, Chad, he's playing Terranigma. Fear, despair, and suffering. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I'd been manipulated. It didn't cross your mind? What? <laughs> what? You just suddenly had convulsions and and fought your own hand from signing? You didn't think that was weird? Oh, oh, game, come on. And my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Hmm. The memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, huh? Signing execution orders is part of the Justice Minister's job. Yeah, it's almost like the red-haired detective Lin was manipulated earlier. Totally happens all the time. Yeah, these things happen exactly, Chad. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. <laughs> okay. But the next day, it dawned on me. Remember Inspector Cabanella's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. Only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. Something like that got out. This nation's judicial system should, uh, would crumble. Besides, I know evidence present that I'd actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Hmm. I suppose. But it sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, I know. I should have. I was running away from the problem. Oh, that hunch is something else. Then my wife found out I was worried about something. If you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her. She was dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. Look, she's got the psycho hair even in the flashback. She's unleashing her true power. And then with the kidnapping tonight, with the thrust under my nose like that, 
I could no longer deny my mistake. And that's why I had a heart attack and died. Right, chat? This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. That's why you've been telling people to stay back. There's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. Fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain death slam. Wait, no, we know, no, we knew more than this. Why are we claiming like this is new info? What I'm not fine with is the fact that a person can control and manipulate living creatures. It's certainly not something I can do. Are we gonna realize Lynn was manipulated yet or no? Apparently, different ghosts get different sets of ghost tricks. No, 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 ghost pranks. That's a good point. If he didn't want to order to go out, why didn't he withdraw? I know, he could have. Question mark. I mean, he could have done it before the kid. He had, like, well, apparently it was a month ago, so he had, like, at least 20 days to decide against it at some point. It's a big failure on his part, I guess. But I never imagined that tonight. I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Where it comes from. Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. A spirit? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Oh, there's the pose. Yo, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too. Look at that pose. I'd say the only one who can't hear him is you. Well, and the other guard. We didn't kill the guard yet. Spirit. Ghost. Gods in heaven. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. Recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. There we go. Oh, <laughs> he did the sped up walk. There you go. Inspector. This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Oh, did D Dango saw the poses, I'm assuming. Yeah, you missed it, Dango. He pulled out a chair earlier. He does, like, very ridiculous spins whenever he walks. I, I'm i actually more surprised she's still alive, too. Honestly, that's the plot twist of the century. I thought it was going to be the guard at the van looking for Kamala that notices Lynn die, and then we go to the park because of that. Well, uh, the situation here is, it's kind of difficult to explain. Oh, wait, did she kill the homeless guy in the park? Thistle, if you're there, come to the park immediately. I think she killed the, the park resident or whatever his name was. It looks like your help is needed, Sissel. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Any other dialogue before I go further? Yeah, like, look at all this ridiculousness we had to set up earlier. Well, I guess we'll go to the park. Lynn calls and I oblige. Take off toward Tesmic Park, a place where clearly something big is taking place. The Manipulator. The person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jones' crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Could it be? Could it have been manipulated into shooting me? Okay, at least we're acknowledging that, Chad. That, you know what? That's better than some other Phoenix Wright-style protagonists. <laughs> Progress has been made. We did it, Chad. We're no longer blind. Yes, we will save the game. Probably do at least one more. Depending on how long this one is, I might be able to do two. Chapter 14, 128 AM. Desmic Park. Inside the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. The place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Oh, the chef is here. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? And now for the first time, I think we can scroll around. Because if you notice, I've never been able to scroll. Like, even right now, I still can't scroll to the left. 
But now that a suitcase is here, we can finally come over here. Huh? What's he doing here? At least she isn't dead yet this time, yet. Oh. I missed part of the line. Well, will not end if the food delivery is a little late, la la la. I didn't realize that was auto advancing text. A little late. It's already ice cold. Right, so let's. Seriously. What is this ridiculous set of things that I'm looking Oh, he is ultra dead, chat. He is ultra dead. Look at him. He is super dead. I don't know what this is, but it crushed the hell out of him. Get in the hat, become Ghost Ratatouille. Yeah, pretty much. What the heck is this? What? Oh, this is going to be some puzzle, chat. This is going to be some puzzle. So I'm going to have to use the seesaw at some point. Then his boot came off, I think. Maybe I have to pop a balloon? Oh boy, perish indeed. Welcome, Kirk. There we go. Now he's leaned back far enough I could do something. <laughs> he just doesn't find that weird at all. Does he have any comments when I just did... <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah, I was gonna say he better have a comment. What just happened? I wasn't even pumping my feet. Hmm. The swing swings me, and I sling the chicken. The swing is swung, and the chicken is slung. Everything comes at back to the chicken in the end. If only we had a rat to torture. The puzzle would be so much easier. Not even gonna try to figure that one out. Moving on. Hmm. Let's see. So we have a boot. We have a basketball. Let's spin this harder. Ew, I got this thing spinning pretty fast. I didn't even put much effort into it. Quite a bit of power and speed for a piece of playground equipment. Just imagine all the poor kids who get set flying all over the park. I imagine I want to go down first? Oh, we can manually move the seesaw. That makes it easier. Yo, he is super dead. I guess she's holding the leaf just so I can reach her. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather. Is he alternating speaking and thinking to himself? He is indeed. Although when we're in the ghost dimension, everybody hears both. I didn't find out what you were looking for. Right. I can't find the music box anywhere. No, stop calling it a music box. We know it's not a music box now. It has a gun in it. It's not a music box anymore. I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? <laughs> we saw the dead body. His death is, must be very interesting. There. In the grass. You better see for yourself. Looks like a dead body. Nearly died when I saw it. A <laughs> gun isn't an instrument. Yeah, we were joking about that earlier. The wonderful melody of gun. <laughs> Listen to the steady rhythm as it pumps bullets into something. I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. Oh boy, chat. This is quite a character. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you to pursue it thoroughly. Examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name? What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Oh. Okay. 
Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. Well, apparently he became well acquainted with the Rock of the Gods. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. But we are young. Dot, dot, dot. Looks like I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. Let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Oh, this this will be a treat, chat. What what ridiculous setup is gonna involve this rock flinging at him? Eight twenty-five. Ooh, that was a long time ago. Considering we're almost at two a.m. currently, we have been noticing he was gone since about nine. So this makes sense. Because if you remember, the guy never came back after he harassed him in the restroom. And so I made up my mind. Resolve to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. And what does that have to do with this Rock of the Gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaf leaflet in great detail. We actually saw this cutscene, funny enough. If you remember, right before we went to the chicken restaurant, we actually saw this cutscene before. But they went to the bathroom at some point. Yeah, exactly. I know we saw this cutscene. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Who would have thought it would have been his death scene? Ah! Yeah, this we didn't see. Oh boy. I'm coming! Just hold on! I'll be right there! Gomshi says, gun is an instrument. I'm not about to argue with a man who <laughs> loose cannons for music. True. I've located the target, beauty. A girl of the right age. Coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. <laughs> yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? <laughs> Look at his foot. Ah! Oh, God. What should I do? Oh, what, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. Huh. Oh, she was going to crush herself. Oh. Oh, that's right. Missile did save her earlier. So it looks like Missile has the ability to swap objects? What in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Mino. Mino. Mino the mascot, the symbol of Tesmic Park. What about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete? Talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? <laughs> Missile killed somebody else. Bad dog. Yes, yes, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the Gods. The power of Gods saved that little girl. Then the same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes, yes, precisely. That is called Mischief of the Gods. Was it the mischief of the gods, or was it a ghost trick? No, 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 he just had an unfortunate accident, right, chat? But nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. What do you mean, no, it couldn't have been a ghost trick? No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. You don't even know how ghosts work. Get out of here. <laughs> right, chat? Up until literally last chapter, we just assumed they did the same thing. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Finally. Here we go, chat. Rewind time. Trick time. Hmm. Look at that. There's another flame besides me. Oh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? 
But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Ghost shenanigans, exactly. Yes, yeah, so? Oh, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. The last minute, that big lump of concrete made one huge swing to one side. That's probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? Oh, come on. We know it's Missile. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure Campbell had literally straight up told us that earlier. I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Hmm. Maybe I'd better try talking to this person. Anyway, chat was looking for Missile. Time to talk to Missile. What the? This person which mu with much greater powers than me. It's... It's... You? Hey! Sissel! Oh my, it's... Missile! You look well, uh, for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it. I tried really hard and I did it. I saved Miss Camilla. Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. After Miss Kimmel went out and you left. Oh, did he die banging into the door? I went like crazy to make my own path and I did it. Yeah, this was back at like 6 p.m. Oh, there we go. He did eventually become free chat. And I followed Miss Campbell out into the big wide world. Except our new dog god ghost, exactly. Oh no. Then here at this park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed it, I barked. You bet I did. I went running after her too. Uh, the dog has at least four or something ridiculous. They don't explain it, it's just normal to them for some reason. Wow. <laughs> That's how he died? He got run over by a motorcycle? And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. Big oof. Alright, so we have to save Missile too. When I came too, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Cavala. Especially under that big scary lump. Oh. Oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. Right up from the depths of my heart. And then... Uh-oh. There we go, chat. Confirmation. Now we know that weird radiation is from the meteor from 10 years ago. We we kind of guessed it was, and that a piece was lodged in the other person's body. And we also were guessing that it was either an invention or something involving the rock gave people ghost powers. And since his powers were quote unquote greater, it's because he died literally next to the meteor. I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than... Probably anybody else could. I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death? You bet I did! Oh, we're getting the green back in time. Deathception chat. Yeah, yeah, we know about this dialogue. We'll advance it slightly. That's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know. It looks pretty far. Search out my paw towards the core. Whoa, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it, too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go and try it for yourself. Uh-oh, Chad. We're gonna have multiple ghost powers? How complicated are these final puzzles going to be, Chad? Oh, look at that. Damn. Sissel better than us. I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. So then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside. Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? 
can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did... I didn't know what to do. I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core, too. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as two things have the same shape, that is. Oh. So that means potentially that ball we saw in the tree could be replaced by the one in the gym later? Ooh. Okay, this is adding another layer of complexity. I need to think about everything we saw earlier. Swap things with the same shape. Go ahead and try it. Touch the swap button. That's... that's incredible. So that's how you save your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, isn't it? I'm very sorry! My powers were too meager. Meager? As you see, I saw one more. Yeah, the football. Happen to notice one more core. There's something with the same exact shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. We know it could be swapped again with that. And disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Oh no. Yeah, we still don't remember what human things are, quote unquote. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we're locked in 100%. We are definitely the cat from earlier. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. So why didn't you swap the missile? It's right. You're right, Chad. It's a bathtub. I couldn't. Search out my paw a little... Oh, I can search out my paw a little further than you can, Cecil. But this was just too far for me. Couldn't reach. <laughs> there we go. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of death if I do say so myself. Every trying over and over, seeing if there's anything I could do. If there's something you could do now. Huh? We work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. You think you could help me? Of course! Naturally. I'm gonna drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try. Let's go back again to four minutes before. All right, let's get started. So I probably have to open the umbrella to knock off the football, and then that'll put it in range of the leaf. So I guess Sissel has to go up and Missile has to go left? Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mina with the leaf. The only question is, do I need to swap something in order to get the protagonist up there to initiate the chain of events? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. Then you'll have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? With rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. That means I have to move it closer somehow. Hmm. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready! Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just touch the dog button. There you go, chat. Touch the dog button. That way you'll be able to control me. Then if you touch the U icon, control will come back to me. By the way, you can switch between us with select, too. Oh, that's cute. I'm not using a controller for this game. Select, huh? I'll remember that. Hmm, this is getting interesting. Okay, let's try it. Together, we can stop Mito from hurting anybody. Oh, hold on, dialogue. All right, Missile. The powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. You can swap anything as the same shape. 
It's calling me if you find anything you want to try. Probably the best thing to do is to try a bunch of things and see how it goes. If I see something we can swap, I should use the dog button. That's gonna be one of chat's favorite sentences. Declare usage of the dog button. Hmm. Swap to the dog. Oh. Sorry about all this trouble, Sissel. Oh. Okay, so the game is just confirming I can't have them occupy the same object. Okay. Because I just moved them to where Sissel was just now. If only my paw could reach a little further. I'm going to swap that big lump one more time. Swapped it with that rugby ball in the tree nearby. That's all right. That's what we're going to do now. Ooh, excuse me. Together. I'm going to give it my best. First thing to do is to find a path to that rugby ball. Yeah, yeah, I already figured it out. So we need to... So I probably need to... Is there another ball in here? Oh, I can swap these two. Yes. I don't know if this matters. I'll stay in the middle for now. So, what I'm thinking about... Oh, it's too heavy to do. Damn. Should have thought about that. Oh, I'm, I'm one step ahead of where... No, 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 no. Game, I was gonna ghost trick. No, 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 no. I did it slightly too early. And I go, okay, what dialogue is it about to tell me? You, here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? If somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. Now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm, I've been thinking. I can stop this man from running. Maybe he wouldn't get squished? It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Hmm, stop him, huh? I don't think I need to do that yet. Alright, so what I do need to do is I need to manipulate. Come over here, use the soul. He's just about to take everything spinning. Which is good, because I need that to happen. And I can swap this with this. Move you in the middle. Now this should go higher because it's a lighter object. Oh, no, no, no. I need to move this here. I need to make it go faster. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Are we gonna kill him? Look how he's launched on that. I switched to dog vision. Back here. The boot is now lined up with the note. Which means I can now make it to the love letter. Okay. Now I can close the umbrella, which is what I thought before. Here we go. We're making progress. Now I can open it again, right? Oh, that was so close. It hit the ball. It could have knocked it down. Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? Don't forget about my powers. Don't forget about my recklessness of youth. Hmm. Did I miss a timing window or something? Uh... 
Look at this funny flattened ball. Yeah, yeah, I know. The same shape as that horrible Mina. But it's too far to swap from here. Even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. Hmm, we have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say. Must be something we could do. Alright, so we don't have a lot of time. Oh, can I not... Oh, did I mess up? Might have messed up, Chad. That's annoying. I think I see what I was supposed to do. But I think I have to rewind time. I can't go back up now. Oh, that's so annoying. I was like one step off from getting it solved. So I was going to open this because it could catch the ball. Oh, we got to rewind time. That's annoying. I had to I had to do something with the balloon before we went there. I'm pretty sure is what I messed up on. I did everything else right but that, which really sucks. Try again. No sense in waiting around. I'm pretty sure because I can't go back. It was just kind of locked in. We're going to move us first. The more annoying of the two to do. Yeah, yeah. I know about the round things in here. <laughs> right, chat? My hair is also round. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know, game. I don't need to be told that. Um... Game... I, I literally hit the... That was rude. That was rude. I hit the swap button and that made the plot advance. Rude. What? What's oh, this thing weird with me? I can stay in the boot for now. Round things are indeed round. No, stop that. Now I can swap these. I can technically leave them up here if I want to. That is kind of annoying that it forces me to look at this dialogue again. I'm not going to lie. Ghost trick. I know. Right, chat? I know. I hit re reset time. Please remember that I did that. Hey, hey, don't cancel my ghost vision. I did not tell you to do that. Right, Chad? I did not tell it to cancel Ghost Vision. That was rude. Alright, so once this starts spinning, I can go up here a little faster than I did before. I don't know why the trick button was so delayed there. That was weird. A little shy. There we go. So what I messed up last time is I think... I have to rustle the balloon more than once. Oh, actually, there's nothing else I can do here. Hmm. <sighs> Not what I thought then. Anything else to do with this? Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? I think I did it correctly. I, I'm sorry. We're catching a different... I thought I was going to catch the ball. I don't have to catch that ball. I just have to do this. Sorry about that. I didn't need to reset. Now the question is, I might have to swap this. Actually, no, no, that should be fine. Cause he's gonna jump, Never mind. I think I understand what's gonna happen now. So he's gonna jump on the seesaw and that should launch the basketball. Okay, I think we're good now, Never mind. Disregard. We should jump off now. Yeah, 
Yes, this is what I needed to do before. Sorry about that, I actually have the solution. Wow, I so did not see that coming. My bad, I thought I needed to do something with the balloon to make it, like, touch the ball to catch the ball. But apparently not. Never thought the umbrella would catch the ball. Did you see that? That tree branch. It shook a little. I think I saw it shake too. If only it shook a little more. If only, chat. We knocked that terrible rugby ball down. Well, we saw Lynn near the tire. So not quite what I thought the solution was going to be. So I'm going to put the tire in the umbrella. And that should cause the ball to fall. And then I should be able to perform the funnel swap. From this terrible tree. Maybe it just needs a little more weight. Sure we could do it. We just have to put our heads together. Everything looks good so far. We just need one more step. It's time to dog swap. There, we moved the ball. What do you think, Missile? Hmm, with the ball there. I think I could do it. Just a few seconds. we will swap Mino with the leaf. And from there, he could swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? You bet! That's kind of brutal that we're doing this entire thing without a save, by the way, Chad. So if I, if I miss this timing, it's over. Uh, I can't reach it yet. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that happens automatically? Oh. Okay, watch me, Sissel. I was like, wait, I thought we were... Okay. Here I go. Finishing touches. You could do it, Missile. Stop Mina with the ball. Okay. At least I can't fail this. That That's good. I thought I would have to time it on the girl. That's why I went over there. But I guess since it happened in the past already, I didn't have to worry about it. There, how's that? Yeah, I was worried I'd have to do a double time on that one. That's why I went in the middle, because I was expecting to jump on that, to then swap it to the leaf, to then swap it to the other thing. My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. Now Mino's right where he belongs. Damn, <laughs> Mino's right where he belongs in the trash? Brutal. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Fate averted. Well, we still have to save the dog. Now nobody has to die. Missile's still dead, though. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? Yes, you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait, if we save his life, would that undo... I guess that won't undo, undo the good tricks. Dot, dot, dot. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. There you go, chat. What? I was alive. I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I wouldn't be able to protect Miss Camilla. To do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your wife your life away already. Oh, of course, you're right. Hmm, okay, Missile. Have it your way. Can't we, Burger Kingdom? By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth. There's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, to the present. Rip dog. I think I could squeeze in one more chapter. As long as this is chapter end right here, I could do one more. And so Camilla ended in the hands of the kid ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. Wish there's something I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure, she's all right. After all, after all, she is me. Jump scared. Missile, are you in there? 
Miss Lynn, leave Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Missile. Oh, we're about to lose Missile? <laughs> Miss Lynn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Actually doomed. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it up to Missile. <laughs> Kind of looks like missiles being left up to the wind. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. Oh. I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park. The Rock of the Gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. This is for you. Oh. I love the tire is still suspended in that tree after several hours. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. Dot, 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 dot. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's, mes he's mesmerized by my beauty. Uh oh, is he being possessed? Yeah, dot to dot to dot to dot to dot to dot to dot that too. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Okay. Okay. Listen, 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 chat. They're doing too many cat puns for this to not be the, the solution now. Lock it in, chat. 100% we are the cat. That is now two cat puns directed at us specifically. I don't believe in coincidence, chat. Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot. Excuse me, but are you... Oh, did he witness the death ten years ago? It's hard to tell how old this character is, to be honest. No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Are you talking about? Talk to her first. Have you met this strange young man before, Lynn? I don't remember, but he said 10 years ago, and this park. There can only be one thing that I could think of. Hmm. Looks like I better talk to Mr. Leaflet here. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be coincidence. But apparently you know our lady detective here. See, even he doesn't believe in coincidences with the perplexing number of cat puns. Could you tell us about it? About what happened 10 years ago. Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to do just that. Rock of the Gods. What's this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Yeah, the meteor. Rip dog. Missile. Wait a minute. You said gods. What do you mean dogs? Of course not. Don't be silly. There's no time for this ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Rock of the Gods, Tesmic Park. The Rock of the Gods. Rock of the Dogs, exactly. Missiles doing their best Yamcha impression. Damn. <laughs> The rock is buried in the ground right there. Been there these ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle. Oh, we finally getting confirmation it struck and killed the main antagonist of the game. This rock you've been talking about is a meteor, right? Precisely. Right from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. 
me. Ten years ago. That day I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom. Heard the scream of a little girl. Ah! Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. You've seen this cutscene like three times. Are we finally going to get confirmation that this is the red suited guy? Peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. They kept purposely not showing us to him. Or showing us him specifically. Didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. Yes, that'll set up for, I guess, chapter 16 or 17. Knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick. It was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's what had happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. Imagine holding a hostage and you just get absolutely wrecked by a meteor. When it crashed to the ground, Hitterate gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. Then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments. Pierced into the criminal's back. Yeah, we already figured that out. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. So we're basically seeing the motive of the antagonist here as a reminder. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the Rock of the Gods. My, I can't believe it. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temsic, and still today, lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Temsic. I, I never knew about this, Temsic. I always thought Detective Jode was the one who saved me. You were very young then. Rock of the Gods starts guitar solo, baby. You passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. Huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. Strange you never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news. Never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteor was named Temsic after the name of the park that it fell in. Yeah, that's why I was not sure how old this guy was. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're turning up. They're talking about turning the park. Oh, excuse me, chat. Into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park. The Rock of the Gods. That is my mission. I see. I'm taking you with me, Missile. For ten years ago, the little girl that was... Lynn wasn't aware of the meteor. But I get that. And Detective Jode, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temsic thing. And if he knew... The man died. I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? Rock of the Gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. Oh, looks like I missed a follow alert. My bad. Thank you again, Luigi, for the follow. I'll give them a proper shout out later. My activity feed was broken in OBS. It, it literally just fixed itself mid-playthrough. <laughs> I guess it eventually found it. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. I'll be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn. I think I got enough time for it. Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, I'm glad to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jode.
We found the music box, Detective Joad. Good job, Lim. I knew you would. Dot, dot, dot. Once everything has been resolved, I'd wanted you to give this to him. Him? I mean, Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Joad? Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain act to doing it, you know. I'm just gonna smack it. Oh. I guess that works. See? How's that a knack? It's more like brute strength to me. Here you are. <laughs> the gun goes off. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, Chad, if that killed him? <laughs> to find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? Camera builder contraption. She uses a special kind of string. The kind magicians use. Burns up in an instant and disappears. Boot strength is a type of knack, true. Why would little Camel use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Bang. How not to handle a gun, 101. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> In the case report, there are mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Emlo was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. She took the gun out of the frame and placed it with the picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame, too. Those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. That angle was never brought up in the court. And so is Justice Minister. I must call off the execution at this point. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jode. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lin. Those eyes of yours. I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. I am so shocked the chapter is still going on. Continue. Sis, you hadn't come to my cell tonight. We'd be gone by now. Ever having, without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Night. Come into contact with a lot of people's lives. I got involved in their fates. The only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Oh. I can't go back. I was gonna save before I continued. Oops. Manipulator. Sissel told me all about it, Detective Jode. About the manipulator? Yes. Looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Ah! Please don't pick on the minister. He dies again. I'm the one who has to save him. Oh. Cecil, do you think? You think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too. It was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. The image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But... Who is it? And why did they do it? Emma's contraption. The contraption was a birthday surprise for Kamala's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? I knew it. See, Detective Jode? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jode about it. It's all about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. It's 
very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town. Never even heard of the place. What's more, never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Temsik. Detective Joe, you must have heard this name before. Temsik. Meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. Dot 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 dot. So, you found out about that, did you? Here that meteorite saved Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jode, you told me that ten years ago. The person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was that meteorite. Dot, 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 dot. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. Also, Chad, I just realized we're only two chapters away from beating the game, so we're definitely finishing next session, by the way. Because I think I said last time there were 16 chapters, and we're almost done with chapter 14 here. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteor hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not how that works. But sure. That's not true. Yeah, we need objections in the chat. You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? The truth about 10 years ago, chat. On that day, 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes. In the police headquarters interrogation room. Ah, uh, so maybe it was Cabanello that was in interrogating him? The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was, who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. Happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately. I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. Fired a warning shot. Wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. At that time, I was a young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword, wearing the same coat as a certain detective in a certain other series. <laughs> right, Chan? You know, must call me a gumshoe. I made him panic and got you involved, Lin. It was all my fault. Detective Jode! All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lin. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last 10 years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. Well, we're getting the big reveal on this one. I painted pictures of myself, nothing but portraits of people's faces. Oh, I can see the rock now. Okay, so that was the rock that was in his jail cell. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. I can see some of my diminishing paycheck at my target, exactly. I was wondering what that was on the wall before. Now, now that I'm looking at it again. That is indeed the rock from the park. And tonight, I finished my last portrait. The final face I wanted to remember. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Oh, wait, just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight.
It was my face. Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. The face of yours is... I like how they also reference it as that face of yours. The face of yours is the face I saw 10 years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. Of the man who was pronounced dead at the sea. But, but, but hold on, Detective Jode. That can't be true. I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the man that I... Oh, the, the name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I... I... Oh, interrupted by plot. Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. Our demand? What? Demand? Ooh. Ooh, Detective Flip Sides chat. Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. I almost thought you were trying to write seductive. <laughs> That's where the S came from for Detective Casablanca there. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Dot 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 exclamation mark. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution and wait for our call. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on? Inspector Cabanella. Yeah, he went to the junkyard, interestingly. The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. So I'm guessing the old pigeon guy is part of the special investigation unit somehow? Or like an ex... Ex cop or a medical person? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, he has to have some science in him. I'm still not 100% on his identity, but I think I understand the plot of the game overall. Even now, the chain continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabanel's call proved that to us. The greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me have been chasing all night? Who? Am. I. I'm even further from knowing than when I started. We will absolutely save, but chat, I think we will pause here. Since we're only two chapters from beating the game, this seems like a natural break point. So expect in the next session for us to absolutely clear this game. Leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger there. So what did we learn in today's session? Well, we got to play as Missile briefly, and then we let Missile go to the wind, which kind of sucks. Hopefully we get Missile back. That seems like a very arbitrary way to lose a character. But whatever. So I think overall, I am enjoying the game. I think I struggled a little bit on the puzzles today, but I think that was more on me than the, the, the puzzles themselves. I will, however, still blame the puzzles in the last session. The last session definitely had the worst puzzles in the game. That stealth section was garbage. My opinion has not changed on it. That was just really not fun. I don't know what they were thinking. But everything else today was like mostly straightforward. I just had to play with the objects a little bit. I didn't feel like super frustrated or any point. I was just like, I have to be missing something. And that's how I felt kind of going into it. Which is fine, you know, I mean, that's gonna happen in a puzzle game, not everything's instant pickup. So overall, you know, I'm happy that you could tap to advance through the different things. I am a little sad that when we go to the phone, there hasn't been a lot of sub-story in this, in these chapters, like it kind of fell off in the last chapter in particular. So given that there's only two chapters left, that might be the last of the side story we're going to see. 
So I'm not quite sure how this game is going to wrap up because we haven't dealt with the main villains yet, like at all. Like, think about it this way, chat. We haven't met up with them at all still since the beginning of the game. So I imagine the final chapter will do something with them, but we'll see. So next time, presumably, Junkyard Shenanigans and then maybe the bad guy HQ. I can't see what else we would potentially be doing. But we'll leave that for another time. But let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch at this point in the video of the VOD, boss rush chapter, maybe. Or Missile. Yeah, we have to save Missile at some point. I still have a theory we're gonna undo the entire timeline and have somebody else die to the Meteor. I feel like that's probably gonna happen, by the way, chat. That's, that's my guess of how the game is gonna end. But I think from that standpoint, I guess we'll see... I guess we'll see YouTube next time in the final playthrough portion of the game. And then we'll wrap it up with the review.